channel this is the fifth part of equal triangles children before watching fifth part you should watch part 4 because this is the continuation of part 4 look at the question draw a line 5.5 cm long using a set square locate the midpoint of this line is the question clear we are asked to draw a line for 5.5 cm and using a set square we are going to find the midpoint this is the third sub question of question number 2 in page number 21 see how i am going to draw the figure first of all i have drawn a line ab which is 5.5 cm use your set square at the point a and draw an angle first of all i will tell you the angles of the set square you know in the set square this angle is 90 degree and this angle is 60 degree and this angle is 30 degree you have a similar set square in your instrument box also use your set square from your instrument box to draw two equal and parallel lines at the points a and b so i am keeping the set square at the point a and i am going to draw a line see using set square i have drawn the full length now what you have to do take out the set square keep it at the point b now keep your set square at the point b and draw a line of the same length let me name the points as p and q now what do you know about ap and pq ap and pq are two lines which are equal in measure also the angles are equal here the angle is 60 degree also this angle is 60 degree okay and ab is the common side so what can you say about the triangles abp and abq after joining i will tell you join p to q i have joined pq now you know ap and bq or equal included angle here also the included angle is the same this angle and this angle are also equal why are they equal because they are alternate angles isn't it when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal these two angles formed are called alternate angles so what did you understand now these two triangles are equal triangles so if i mark the point this intersecting point as m i can say m is the midpoint of the line ab also m is the midpoint of pq also is it clear children so can you say the length of am now am would be equal to 5.5 divided by 2 that is equal to 2.75 cm half of 5.5 cm which is 2.75 cm is it clear children this is the third question in your textbook look at the board a b c d e is a pentagon with all sides equal since sides are equal i have drawn a small line okay now the sides a b and a e extended a b and a e extended meet 
CD extended at P and Q. Is the question clear? You read the question once again from your textbook. Now our question is to find out whether the sides of triangle BPC and the sides of triangle EQD equal Y. When are the sides of the two triangles equal if the triangles are equal triangles? So it is enough if you prove triangle BPC and triangle EBQ are equal triangles. I will show you how to prove these two triangles to be equal. Now since a, B, C, D, E is a pentagon with all sides equal. All angles will be also equal. This is a point for you to remember. In a polygon, whatever be the polygon, if all sides are equal, then all angles will be also equal. So, you can name each of the angles to be equal to X. Okay, some variable. I marked it as X. Therefore, in this figure, all the angles formed here are equal to X, X, X. Okay? Now, what can you say about the angle that is? This angle will be equal to 180 minus X. Why do you get 180 minus X? Because... The two angles here form a linear pair. Is it clear? The same idea is used here also. This angle is X. Therefore, the remaining angle here would be equal to 180 minus X. Come to the second triangle. In this triangle, since this is X, this angle is equal to 180 minus X. And this angle is also equal to 180 minus X. Now what did you understand children? By using A, S, A idea. Okay. By using angle included side and angle of one triangle are equal to angle included side and angle of another triangle. Therefore, these two triangles are equal triangles. If two triangles are equal, all their sides are also equal. That is the answer for the first question. Clear? Come to the second question. Are the sides AP and AQ of triangle ABPQ equal? Are the sides AP and AQ of triangle ABQ equal. I will explain the answer in a single step. Look at angle P. Angle P is opposite to side BC. Isn't it? Now what do you know? If triangles are equal, angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So opposite to BC you have angle P. So we can say angle P and also angle Q are equal because they are the angles opposite to the equal sides. Do you understand children? Now look at this triangle APQ now. You have a triangle APQ with these two base angles equal. If base angles are equal, then the sides opposite to these two base angles are also equal. Such a triangle is called as an isosceles triangle. Children, I will give you an idea about isosceles triangles. What do you mean by an isosceles triangle? A triangle with any two angles equal. Or you can say a triangle with any two sides equal. Okay, look at the figure. I have drawn ABC with angle A and angle B 50 degree. Now, 
you also should draw a figure like this. Draw a line AB of any measure. Measure 50 degree at A. Measure 50 degree at B also. Or you take any other angle. Okay. If you measure the length of BC and AC, they will be always equal. It is because it is an isosceles triangle. In an isosceles triangle, angles opposite to equal sides are equal. We will work out problems in isosceles triangles in our next class.